The Frame Awards is all about recognizing spaces and products that matter. Industry professionals representing a 15-person strong jury panel discuss their favorite projects of the month, consisting of a winner and honorable mentions. T-Story is a project developed by the interior design studio LWPD from Ningbo, China. 大家好，这位是林卫平先生，我是他的助理。这个项目呢，是在那个呃宁波的渔窑的那个呃大榄镇。The site was originally designated as a tea factory that the owner planned to demolish and rebuild in 2020. With the scenery of seeming mountain as the backdrop, the studio envisioned this large site becoming a place for tourism and leisure that integrates an entertainment club, restaurant, and resort hotel. After viewing the location, the studio quickly decided to preserve the remaining construction and its history by creating a project that combines old and new. The design focuses on the integration of Eastern and Western concepts and the creation of a people-oriented, natural, and comfortable living space. They connected all walking routes to make the entire project circular, allowing guests to feel like they're on a sightseeing tour. During construction, they encountered two major challenges. COVID-19 slowed down the construction progress from 2020 to 2022. To overcome this, they put cameras in important parts of the site and requested the construction supervision to report progress via WeChat every day. The project location at the top of Seeming Mountain was also challenging, as it made hiring construction workers from remote areas costly. Eventually, the studio was able to find local workers. The first thing visitors see upon entry is a gate fashioned of old bamboo and a large engraved rock. The lobby has a long counter, and several tea sets refer to the history of the building. Behind the lobby, the Chinese and Western restaurants are accessed. The site is an ancient well that has been restored with a water flowing device. A row of sprinklers has been integrated into a stone wall to water moss and local plants. The old staircases of the tea factory have been mostly preserved and connect to cultural exhibition areas, like a room of old newspapers and a room displaying bags of tea. At the top, the staircase has been enclosed with glass to protect it against wind and rain. Finally, the roofs of the building have a frameless glass swimming pool, a terrace, and a barbecue area. All these areas are connected to one another. The studio curated the furniture for the project in nearby villages and towns. Through their approach, the studio managed to give the old tea factory a second life. Our Frame Awards jury panel for March was impressed by the project. I just think as a project in general, it compressed time. It made you feel like the old was the new and the new was the old. And if I stayed there, I would like to want to go around and experience it. It really feels experiential, both the old and the new. And how they merged together was done with, with, with grace. It's not overwhelming. It's not all over the place. It's just in certain points you get to see through these layers of what the building used to be. And they're very transparent about that. And I think that, of course, also has like an, a sustainability angle to it. So I think that they, with small details, made this building tell a story. Storytelling and exposing the layers of the past of the building's kind of like an onion. There's multiple layers to it across time, which is a beautiful thing. I would particularly applaud the use of restraint in terms of design. Shishi 